in earlier videos we discussed about the light uh, the Doppler effect of light uh, Doppler effect in light uh, according about the blue shift and red shift whenever the light is traveling in a some medium then now we are going to discuss about uh, another property or another effect of light uh, that is uh, interference interference means uh, when two uh, light waves of uh, same amplitude same frequency in the same pace moving in the same direction and superimpose at a point then the total energy redistributed to its uh, regions means uh, at some uh, regions uh, the light uh, the energy distributed more and some regions uh, the energy distributed less that means to say the intensity of light is more at some regions some of the part whenever the light is there and uh, the intensity of light is less uh, at some regions means uh, here when the two waves is traveling in the same pace means another wave is also traveling in the same pace then whenever two su superimpose on another and the resultant wave can be formed uh, and so that can in case of the energy is uh, distributed means uh, maximum amplitude and minimum amplitude is there means uh, amplitude is proportional to we know that that is i proportional to a square i proportional to a square intensity of uh, intensity of light is uh, proportional to the square of its uh, amplitude so that's why here the amplitude is more and the intensity will be is more so that's why here whenever the amplitude is more then uh, the intensity is more than only the due to that energy distribution at some regions means when a two waves of same frequency same amplitude and uh, moving in the same direction they having the same pace difference having the same pace difference and superimposed moving in the same one direct same direction superimposed at a point the total energy the total energy redistributed into its uh, regions means uh, some energy more distributed at some regions uh, and uh, the energy is less at some regions means due to that one means uh, the intensity of light uh, is more at some regions and the intensity of uh, light uh, less at uh, another beside regions so that's why the variation of intensity the change intensity is there change is there due to the, the due to the interference two waves are the intensity two waves are uh, superimposed on one another so the that's why the intensity is more at some point and less at some point the variation of intensity is there the variation of intensity in the region of superposition means when the the region of superposition means where the both are superposed on another at that region at that region the region of superposition of two or more waves we can take the more waves also two or more waves of same frequency whose phase relationship does not change with the time means uh, both the waves should be having the same phase difference uh, with the time they should not change with the time so here is the the variation of intensity in the region of superposition of two or more waves two or more waves of a same frequency same frequency whose phase relationship does not change with the time does not change with the time is called a interference is called a interference means whenever two waves are moving and are superimposed on another then it does not change with the time the phase difference does not change with the time having the same frequency is called a interference is called a interference due to that intensity is more and intensity is less due to the distribution of energy at the sum of the part is more and the sum of the part is less due to that changes of intensity of variation dark and uh, bright fringes or bright bands are formed dark or uh, bright uh, regions or bands are formed means uh, formation of bright and dark regions or bands are called uh, these two type of interference that is a uh, constructive interference and a uh, destructive interference here is a constructive interference and a destructive interference means uh, whenever two waves are moving constructive and a destructive constructive and destructive interference here is that first of all we are going to know that what is constructive interference constructive interference means uh, when two waves of same amplitude 
this is the one of the wave a1 which is having the amplitude maybe the different amplitude is there when two waves reach a point in phase means both are in the same phase in positive side it is negative side at zero then uh, it is having that the in phase then amplitude of two waves add up means when the two waves is moving like this and the wave is there then two waves are add up and corresponds to the bright point and then whenever they add up uh, because of two waves are having the more than uh, the final resultant wave like this in this case of like this because of two waves are in the same phase either positive or negative that doesn't matter but both our waves are in the same phase so that's why we can say that when two waves reach a point in the phase reach a point in the phase then two waves can be add up so that's why a is equal to a1 plus a2 then when two waves reach at a point in phase then amplitude add up amplitude of two waves add up at that point correspond to bright point correspond to bright point means uh, when the light is traveling that there, there is a intensity of light is more so that's why there is a bright region will be formed bright intensity is more at that point so that why bright band is formed beside that one so here is that the whenever the two waves is traveling in the same pace and uh, when the two amplitudes are add up and finally resultant wave we have formed and to form a bright point formed a bright point that is a is equal to a1 plus a to be the bright point constructive interference if we come for the next one that is a destructive interference destructive interference means when the two waves are reached at a point with out of phase means both are is having the two different phase means one is having the positive phase and another one is having negative phase one is having this this is positive negative one wave is moving having the this one is this one is a one wave and this one is the another wave both are having that this is positive phase and negative phase both are having different phase when both are having the different phase if two waves reach at point reach a point of the out of phase they their amplitudes their amplitudes of two waves uh, can be cancelled means uh, this wave reached this point and this wave reached this point and this is both will uh, superimpose at a point and the both will be cancelled each other or completely or partially maybe the total light is uh, maybe here is that uh, this is having the more amplitude this is having less amplitude so that's why in case, in case of we can write that if the both waves are so same amplitude if the both waves are uh, same amplitude also we can write that here this is also destructive interference means uh, when the two waves are reach at a point without of phase their amplitudes of two waves will be cancelled each other completely or partially then the resultant wave forms like this this is the resultant wave maybe the the more amplitude wave can be cancelled by the sum of the same of the amount so that's why we can write that that is a is equal to a1 similar to a2 means either a1 is the having the more amplitude a1 minus a2 if in case of a2 is having more amplitude then a2 minus a1 will be we can get then when they cancel their amplitudes are cancelled each other due to the change in phase means the two waves are came to out of phase due to that one the dark point will be formed means here that the wherever they completely or partially partially then that point corresponds to the dark point corresponds to the dark point such as interference is called as a destructive destructive means destructed two waves are moved in the opposite phase then uh, cancelled each other so that destruction will be happened means the uh, collided with the happened so that way they destructed each other so that's why we can say that the dark band if we see that closely if we see the torch light by near to this place if we put the torch light on the white paper then close they take that torch light close to the white paper then we can see the circles dark circle and uh, uh, intensity of the light is some of the points is more and some of the points is less dark circles we can see that beside the dark circles we can see the light circles means bright circles we can see that like this if we see that if you put the light torch light on the white paper then we can see that 
like this say happened the dark fringes will be happened some of the dark, beside the dark uh, dark circle we can see the bright circle after that also some of the distance uh, like in the neuter rings also in the neuter rings also the dark we will measure that by using the Doppler effect in light by using the spectroscope by using the spectroscope we can measure the microscope we can measure the fringes distance between the neuter rings will be formed with the slits then we will find that here is that if the dark band bright band dark band bright band here is that if this like this it will the dark bands and the bright bands will be formed whenever the light is imposed on some of the point this is about a destructive and constructive interference once again interference means when two or more waves have the same frequency wavelength moving in the same direction with the same phase difference then superimpose a region superimpose a region and the total energy redistributed to its regions equally means uh, some of the points at the some regions uh, energy is more and less at some regions means uh, the intensity of light is more at some points some regions and uh, less uh, intensity at uh, another some regions due to that this is called as a interference means uh, whenever the superimpose of two waves with same frequency wavelength when moving in the same direction the phase difference is also same then uh, that is called as a interference due to that formation of intensity is more intensity is less the dark and bright bands or bright and dark regions are formed due to the bright or dark regions so that is called as a constructive and a destructive interference constructive and destructive interference means a constructive interference means a, when the two waves are reach at a point when two waves are reach at a point in phase means in having the same phase difference in phase then the amplitude of two waves the amplitude of two waves uh, reinforced means uh, add up reinforced means add up and uh, add up at that point of region then uh, corresponds to a bright point corresponds to a bright point uh, here is that whenever two waves are having the same phase and a final region will be happen though two amplitudes are add up and finally formed uh, that is a uh, a1 plus uh, a2 means uh, the two wave uh, amplitudes are add up uh, and uh, corresponds to a bright point is called as a constructive interference constructive interference if we come for the destructive interference destructive interference means uh, whenever the two waves are uh, reach a point is out of phase out of phase the amplitudes of two waves the amplitudes of two waves means here that the amplitudes of two waves this is the one of the wave and this is another the wave with the out of phase is there so that's why they move they cancelled each other at a point completely or partially maybe if in case of the two, two amplitudes are same then a1 minus a2 will be will becomes a total zero there is no light total pure total dark point will be reached so that's why either they completely or partially cancelled each other then it corresponds to a dark point dark point it doesn't mean that the intensity of light is less than the beside region so here is that due to that the final resultant by a wave can be formed pyrrhic light can be formed like this means a uh, less intensity of light so that's why you can say that a is equal to a1 similar to a2 then these are about a uh, interference next we are going to know this sustained interference what is meant by the sustained interference here is that the interference pattern which is stable the interference pattern which is stable and well defined which is stable and well defined which is having that well defined stable and uh, that can be seen for long time without straining our eye whenever we see the interference when the two lights are uh, superimposed on another then if we see that for the long time i should not uh, strain that is called as a sustained interference means uh, the interference pattern should be stable well defined and uh, should not or can be can be seen for long time without straining our eye is called a sustained interference it can be called as a sustained inference for that sustained interference uh, there is a conditions there are uh, some conditions is there for the sustained interference is these are the five conditions is there for the sustained interference the first one is the two sources of light should emit a uh, continuous waves when the two continuous waves are uh, coming up from the source then uh, the eye does not strain 
i does not strain and also it the connection will be stable the light will be stable and that will be well defined like that continuous waves of a same frequency and a wavelength when the, the same frequency and the same wavelength of light whenever uh, it is emitted from the source that can be stable and uh, does not it is well defined and our eye also for a long time whenever we see that eye cannot be sustained due to that nowadays we are getting that more tv our mobile phones are getting that the screens led screens lcd screens for the sustained interference because of there is a number of two different colors are uh, formed on one another and uh, whenever we see the mobile the eyes can be strained for the long time if we see there for long time because of due to the that is a destructive interference is there and there are some frequency and wavelengths of lights also changing in that pattern so that's why here that there is not sustained interference if our eye is sustained then that is not sustained interference if in case of for a long time also if we see the anything either tv television or mobile whatever it is uh, if in case of our eye does not sustained does not strained only the connection is stable and the waves are coming the same frequency and same wavelength then it can be said as a that is sustained interference sustained interference and two sources should be extremely small in size means small size of source should be there then the point size of source the point size of source the waves emitted by the sources the waves emitted by the sources should be coherent coherent means uh, later we will discuss about it the coherent means uh, its a phase difference will be zero then the coherent sources should be closest to each other then the sources whenever having the two lights of different phase difference should be close to each other they should not be away from each other they should be close to each other then amplitudes of wave should be preferable equal means uh, the amplitudes of wave which are emitting by the source should be preferable equal if in their case of uh, if the amplitude does not same then uh, there will be more different frequency or wavelength of light can be emitted from that whenever they are superimposed means when there are due to the interference that will be emitted from the source this is about a uh, interference uh, next we are going to discuss about what is coherent sources and uh, incoherent and uh, qualitative analysis of interference about the mathematical part of the interference.